Hey darlings, welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for being here. If you're new to my channel, please kindly click the subscribe button below and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any of our tutorials. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much for always staying tuned. So guys, I know you guys can see from my reaction that I really love this dress. If you want to find out how to make this dress, make sure you watch to the end. Let's go over to start making it. Guys, as you can see, I've already cut out my off-shoulder bodies for my dress. I already have a tutorial, detailed tutorial on how to cut out these off-shoulder bodies. As you can see on the pic on the screen, I'll leave the link in the description box below so that you check it out later. So now to cut out the lower part of my dress, the first thing I did was to fold my fabric and then from this point downwards is 10 inches and from where the 10 inches stopped i measured out the full length of my skirt and to fold your fabric you're going to divide your hip circumference into four add additional 17 inches to your measurement so now the next thing i'm going to do right now is to mark out four inches measuring from the center front right here you're going to measure out four inches starting from the center front of your dress and then after doing that you're going to connect it to each other so guys if you're familiar with my channel or if you've watched my video on how to make a goddess dress as you can see on your screen right now you realize that we did a similar step while cutting out the lower part of that dress but in this particular one i'm making right now is a little bit different so from this point, the next thing we are going to do is to mark out or to trace out our basic long skirt. If you have your long skirt pattern, you can simply place it on the line indication line right there and trace it out. If not, you can simply mark in your long skirt on this area. So as I'm doing right now, that's exactly what I'm doing. And I have a simple tutorial on how to make this easy long skirt pattern. And I'll leave the link in the description box below. So guys, even if your pattern has a dart to it, it doesn't matter. It's still okay to be used. So just place your pattern if you have one and trace it out. So now the next thing I'm going to do is connect my long skirt pattern to each other all the way to the full length of my skirt and we continue the modification from there so guys if you're enjoying this tutorial so far don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you're yet to subscribe to my channel please click the subscribe button below turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss my coming up videos upcoming videos actually so now the next thing is to mark in between the skirt area and just randomly trace up to the upper part of the skirt leaving about five inches for the side seam area so now the next thing I'm going to do right now is to measure about six inches this is what I did for the previous skirt I measured six inches but here I decided to mark it at eight inches below the, the hip line area like this and from there i'm going to make a random curve to create the cowl effect for our skirt so now as you can see i'm creating it upwards to join this area so now from the knee line i'm going to smoothen it up like this and this is what it should look like after marking next i'm going to add my side seam allowance and from there this is what it looks like in full so guys after doing this your front piece is ready don't forget to add your hemming allowance also so next i cut out the front piece of my skirt and this is what it looks like and to cut out the back piece i'm going to fold in this four inches reserved i made for the bold plate in front of my dress as it's not going to come out at the back side of my dress so now to cut out the back piece, you simply have to measure out about one and a half or two inches for the slip and zipper allowance right here, as you can see, before placing the front side 
off my skirt before cutting out so after doing that the next thing we are going to do is to start sewing so i started off with joining the front bodies of my dress from the princess seam areas and i'm going to join it from the bustier area with half an inch from this point upwards make sure you join from the lower part to the upper part now for the back side of my bodies i'm going to sew the dots on both sides of my back bodies now for the front piece after joining the princess seam dot the next thing is to shape out the neckline and to do that as you can see after joining both pieces you have a reserve up here and the next thing you're going to do is to trim by first of all marking out your neckline in full and then from that indication line you're going to cut it out you can always reshape your neckline to your taste you can lower it as well if you desire a lower neckline so after cutting this out our front body is ready now i'm going to set this aside so guys i added a cape a cow cape to my front bodies and if you want to add this to your own dress as well i have a detailed tutorial on how to make and manipulate this how to make the pattern for it and how to sew it onto your bodies like this if you want to learn how to make this i'll put the link to the full tutorial in the description box below so that you check it out later so after sewing this onto my front bodies i went ahead to sew the back piece so right now for the back piece after sewing the dot i'm going to join it to each other right side mm -hmm. to right side to each other okay like this and i'm going to pin up the zip allowance to continue sewing i'm just going to pin this up and after doing that i'm going to join the front and the back bodies together and to do that i'm going to open up this part like this next i'm going to place the front bodies onto the back bodies right side to right side to each other and then with the side seam allowance i marked out while cutting out my fabric i'm going to join it to each other by the side seam and set it aside and we're going to go over to sewing the lower part of our dress now to start sewing the lower part of my dress i'm going to flip this over to the right side of my fabric like this and then from the waistline i'm going to measure down i measured down about 13 inches down and that is where my stitch will stop to create the bow pleat at the front side of my dress so right now after sewing this up i'm going to set this aside now for the back side of the skirt i measured out nine inches from the waistline down and that is where my zipper area will be and from this nine inches right here i'm going to stitch all the way to six inches above the knee line so you determine where you want your slit mm -hmm. to start and stop so now what i'm going to do is gently stitch this up and i'm going to go over to the next level so after making the stitches from this point to this point i opened it up wide and pinned up the zipper area now to finish off the slit area i'm going to open it up like this you can choose to do an overlapping method for your slit but this is the method i used for this particular dress in this tutorial so after opening this up i'm going to trace where my slits stopped and from that point right here i'm going to be measuring up about half inch upwards and mark and from this area also i'm going to measure half inch measuring from the center back area all the way to where the full length of my skirt is that is where the slit ends and that is how i am going to sew it up so after stitching this the next thing i'm going to do right now is to open up the front piece like this place the back piece on it right side to right side to each other 
Then starting from this upper waist area, I'm going to start sewing from the seam allowance I reserved all the way to the side seam and to the full length of the lower part of my dress. And after sewing this, I'm going to gather the waistline. This is how to gather the back piece. You measure out your zip allowance, mark it. Then from that zip allowance area, you mark out half inch also. This is to enable the pleats not to enter into the zipper area. So your pleat is going to stop half inch before your zipper area. So you can pleat two inches away from each other like this or your desired taste. So after pleating the back piece like this, Next, we are going to be pleating the front piece as well, the front side of your skirt. Now to do that, you're going to make sure that you pleat towards the center front, okay? And this four inches for our bow pleat is still there. So you make sure that each and every pleat you do, just as I showed you for the back side, is towards the center front of your skirt piece. Now to lay this to rest, we are going to trace the midpoint, match it with the center front of our waistline, and then we are going to hold it down with a stitch right here. So guys, as you can see, so far so good. The dress proves quite easy to make, easier than it looks, and it's not really complicated as one may think or mess sight of it. So the next thing I'm going to do is to join my bodies to the skirt part of my dress like this. After joining it together, the next thing I'm going to do is to fix my zipper. As you can see, I've done that and I've sewn my facing for one side of the back piece and I'm going to show you how to sew the other piece. So now as you can see, you open up your zipper area like this. Then you're going to place your facing, your back facing, right side to right side to each other, like this. And you're going to sew along the neckline area by half inch, and then into the wrong side of the zipper by one inch or so. So after doing that, you're going to remove the excess zipper right here. And then flip it over to the right side of the fabric and then the next thing i did was to fix in my sleeve you can fix any kind of sleeves you desire and your dress is complete so guys i hope you guys enjoy watching this tutorial make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you have a question please leave it on the comment section below or a suggestion so guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in my next tutorial don't forget to check the links in my description box below take care of yourselves bye